You are standing at the end of a road before a small brick building. Around you is a forest. A small stream flows out of the building and down a gully. Hmm. Let's enter the building. You are inside a building. A well house for a large spring. There are some keys on the ground here. There is a shiny brass lamp nearby. There is food here. Well, let's eat the food. Thank you. It was delicious. No, thank you. Um, today, guys, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can play old text-based games in your Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 machine. Now, it's actually really simple. Um, the first thing you're going to need is actually in a um, old DOS emulator called DOSBox. So what you want to end up doing is head over to DOSBox.com and just click on the download link. Alright, then you just want to uh, find your installer. So, of course, it's going to be Windows, unless you're running a different operating system. Uh, your download will start shortly. Just save the file. should only take a second. And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and run that. Uh, it's a really quick install. Just bam. Alright, so you have your emulator. Now what you're going to need is an actual text-based text game from the, I don't know, early 80s, whatever year they're from. And the most popular one was actually called C The Colossal Cave Adventure. Now, this was, this was one of the first and most popular DOS text-based games, and um, I'm going to going to give it to you guys. So what you're going to want to do is actually head over to rickadams.org slash adventure slash e underscore downloads dot html. Of course, this link will be in the description. And then you're going to want to get Kevin Black's DOS version and his and Bob Supnick's Decus version available as a DOS executable. Alright, so what you want to do is just click on this DOS and open it with your favorite uh, zip manager. I recommend 7-Zip. And it comes with a, uh, a bunch of files here. So what you'd want to do is actually extract these files to a super easy directory. Okay. So my directory is actually just going to be C and I'm going to make a new folder called Adventure because it is called the Colossal Cave Adventure. All right, And make sure it's really easy to remember. Okay. And then uh, once you extract those files, you can also get uh, Kenneth Plotkin's version as a DOS executable as well. Um, we're actually going to get this one too. And uh, we're just going to put this actually in the uh, same directory. We're just going to totally overwrite the other one. And it looks like they had no colliding files, so that's okay. So what you want to do after you've downloaded both versions or one version, um, you actually want to open up DOSBox. It'll give you this nice splash screen, and then it will actually open up the DOS command prompt window. Now you're just going to want to type in a few commands. Um, you're just going to want to type mount space a space, and then wherever you put your um, the file you downloaded. So I saved mine to Adventure. Okay, so pretty much what you're doing here is creating a new drive called A that pertains the uh, the files that are inside C slash Adventure. So you just want to press Enter and it'll say Drive A is mounted. And then we want to actually switch over to Drive A. We can do this with A colon. And now we are in Drive A. And then we want to type in DIR. And now we can see what executables are in this file that we can run. Now there's advent.exe and adventure.exe. So I'm going to go ahead and run advent. All you need to do is type advent. You don't even need to type .exe, just, ty just type advent. Press enter. Um, welcome to adventure. Would you like instructions? No. And as you can see, it is the game I was playing at the beginning of the video. You are standing at the end of a road before a small brick building. Around you is a forest. Let's enter the building. Now this game is really cool because it runs at super high uh, FPS and as you can tell the graphics are extremely groundbreaking on this one. Um, and it comes with a series of commands. Like to pick something up you type get uh, eat food get water 
And then we're just going to leave the building. Go south. Let's go south again. Enter stream. My feet are now wet. Okay, let's keep going south. And uh, as you can see, this game is just full of new adventures that you've never even seen before. Um, right now I'm in a 20-foot depression floored with dirt. Uh, the grate is locked. Well, let's unlock grate. The grate is now unlocked. Okay, now let's enter the grate. What do you want to do with grate? Let's enter. Uh, you are in a small chamber. A low crawl over cobble leads inward to the west. Oh, I just can't stop playing this. Uh, sorry guys, but <laughs> you guys just have to watch me for a little bit. Get cage. Okay, so yeah, this is full of... Uh, just it's just full of new adventures for you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to play old 80s text-based games on your Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista machine. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.